Hello and welcome to some late model stock. We are in the K5 Championship here at Stafford. And we are watching the end of heat number two right here. Um, less consequential than usual, but here are the results uh, with Mitch in first there. And uh, here are the results of heat one. Just uh, in case you're curious, Nick on pole and uh, getting the win. Now, the reason they're less consequential is because everybody will be making the race this time. So, um, this is more of a find your qualifying <laughs> position in this one. And uh, we are going to be in heat number three with some very strong drivers. So, thankfully, it's not go or go home for me here. I'm going to give it my best. However, don't have to do anything too crazy. So I've actually got in a setup from Nick. Stay behind the pace car. What's uh, what we got here is we had Tracy sharing his setup. It's very cool. And then Nick shared what he was running. And so I practiced with both. And I found that uh, for doing like just a hot lap going as quick as possible, I actually got my best while running with Nick's setup. However, it does feel a little bit more bound up, a bit tighter, and so when it goes to uh, when we go to the actual race, I think I'm going to switch over to Tracy's for the long run pace. That's kind of uh, what I've settled on. One left to green. I would type good luck, but <laughs> that's difficult for me. Four minute warm up. This in the minute. All right. So it's looking like a second year start or a Nick's setup. I took some fuel out of it for this and uh, as much as I could before it uh, said error not to legal. <laughs> so um, we'll just see what we can get here. A great start, but not terrible. Car outside. Go low. Go low. There is a car on the high side. Clear outside if you want it. Hope I uh, give enough room there. As we fall into third. P3. I've just got all time optimal up. Because uh, we won't be needing to really save tires, I don't think. I'm not all that fast. So I'm hoping saving tires and uh, having some long run pace might help me in the actual race. Oh, Gavin, off the wall pretty hard there. I guess if you're going to do that, get it out of the way now, right? Just going to try to hold on to a decent spot, even if it's uh, even if we lose a spot, that'll be okay. Try to get ourselves a nice starting spot for the main event. So Dylan is right on our bumper. Feel all that fast, to be honest with you. Not feeling all that great. I, I don't know if I have the feel for this track quite figured out. That's all right. I haven't really been all that great in these cars in general, so I don't expect too much. Coming four to go. Once we round this corner. 
loose there. Inside, clear. Car inside. Clear. He didn't have the nose, so I held him pretty tight. That's five minutes to go. Come on, get Doesn't get into me. I don't really want to get wrecked, so maybe I should have just left the room, but I don't hear the call. Most of the time I'm just going to run my line. Over that. One flag, one more left to go. He is faster, I can definitely tell. Back there. Alright, Colson, one more to go. Keep it together, we'll be on the podium. But if we can make it through these corners, these last couple of corners, on the third. And it looks like we will. <laughs> I think he cut me some brakes though a couple of times. He never had the nose. So I don't feel good job. I necessarily chopped him or anything. I don't know. I still don't feel like I even understand <laughs> how this racing works. <clears throat> yeah, I'm giving a, a thank you because I know I uh, cut him off a little bit. So I, I kind of do want to look back at that and see how I feel about my the way I drove that. Uh, I guess that wasn't so bad. I mean. So he's looking down there, and so I know he's going to try to send it down, but, you know, I I always run by the philosophy of, like, even if you drive, like, a, a lane down on the straightaway, it doesn't really give you the corner, you know, so I'm not going to just get out of the way. You just get, you get absolutely freight trained if you do that. That's what I've learned in my experience. So I kind of just have, have to hold my ground, and, uh... I mean, I, I give him space. You use the apron here. That's part of some of the driving lines. So, uh... I think that was, like, the biggest moment. It wasn't so bad, I don't think. Maybe it felt worse in the car. But I'm used to people just, like, in official racing, just plowing me over any time that I don't let them just dive bomb it on me, so... I appreciate it. He's a good, respectful racer for that. I appreciate him. So I'm going to switch over to Tracy's setup now. Oh, I actually saved it. Here it is at Stafford, but this is uh, Tracy's setup. So, oh, maybe I shouldn't. Uh, I guess I shouldn't. Well, he's sharing it with everybody, so I guess it's okay. <laughs> I shouldn't make a habit of showing people's setups, though. I just I had wanted to look at it to make sure I actually did save over the uh, default set Stafford, so I wanted to take a look. But we will be starting ninth in the race. That's good. Stay on the inside. Nick's on the pole for his win in heat race number one. And as you can see, everybody made it. So 24 people. And so I guess I did okay. Um, I just wanted to make sure I wasn't... Uh, I wasn't overdoing it. I, I kind of tapped the wall there, and so I'm, I'm not getting the call. He's not on my inside, so I'm going to take the corner as normal. And of course, he's uh, running it down there, which he, he can try for it. And uh, he doesn't run me over, so I appreciate him for that. And it's actually not quite as close as I thought, so I guess that's all right. But still, I appreciate I have appreciation for him and how he ran it.
Um, I don't think we had any other close calls like that. I guess he got kind of close there, but again, you know, he's a lane down. Still going to take the corner as planned. You can see, like, the tires, like, just the tires wearing off onto the track. Just skidding through. That's what I'm going to try to avoid during the race. Wolt should be coming up in about 10 seconds here. I've kind of just talked through the warm-up, but I did practice with both setups, so I'm feeling okay. Now, he was right on my bumper. He was kind of just waiting for a mistake, maybe, or, uh, you know, maybe just not pushing the envelope for uh, essentially just a couple of spots to start up higher. So, all right. I hope he's okay with how I ran that. And uh, we will get out here. This has fuel, right? Yes. All right, good stuff. 120 laps. 170. You'll be lining up it says estimated. Road is Should be absolutely plenty. And now we'll be able to type good luck. Lol, <laughs> Rick said. Good luck, all. It's like lol. So, no tires. You can see even after just that uh, heat race, 95-95. Which is even. That's good. But I'm going to try to save a little bit more, and I think I might be able to do it with this setup. Hopefully. I mean, this is just going off of uh, what I learned in the 22-minute practice before the uh, heat race has started, so... Could be wrong, but I did feel like I was getting a lot more rotation out of this setup. Nick said give room into one. I hope we do that for the majority of the race. It's tempting to uh, put in some mega dive bombs here, since you can use the apron a bit. Which can make official racing kind of scary at times. With people that uh, just don't give a heck. <laughs> but I, I anticipate everyone's going to be respectful for the most part, even if they race hard. Here in the league. the green. We'll be on the inside. That's good stuff. We'll see if we can get a couple freebies off the start. It's by uh, virtue of having the inside lane. But then from there, got to back it down and try to save the tires on this thing. Get ready. Going green. Here we go. Hey, car is in. Go, go, go. Green, green, green. Outside. Oh, really going easy right now. Wow, oh my god. Please go. Holy cow, man. What's happening? He's way slow. And we got a spinner. No caution. Man, I get saving tires, but that was really easy early on. Just plummeting positions right from the start. Gained one position overall, at least. And now that we've got some room, we can try to take it easy with the tires. I'm going to try to use the banking. I think that'll be a good way to save the tire. Get some of that apron on exit. Get it turning. I don't know if I want to be using the apron on entry necessarily. 
Maybe I do. Maybe if I can get it at the right angle. I don't want to just like go real low into the corner and use the apron because I think that's going to hurt the right front and put a lot of weight on it. But maybe if I can uh, hit it at the right angle, still kind of clip it. Maybe that'll be good. Okay, Colton. Our refueling window will open after 18 minutes. Closes after. All right, feeling good about that pace that I've got going. The yellow flag and a now. yellow. Line up, single file. Closed. Pit road is closed. Catch star 78. Car past the paint car. Catch star oh, 78. Oh, Adam, you don't need to worry I didn't realize I had him muted. I hope I didn't miss anything. Um, sorry about that. road is now open. All right. Bit of a short run. That's all right. Single file restarts we'll be ready for, so don't have to worry about the fact we are P8. I feel kind of bad about being so aggressive off the start, but I was just watching people fly by on the outside. <laughs> like that's supposed to be happening here. <laughs> so, uh, I gave it a little bit of time. I wasn't going to put it three wide or anything. I waited for uh, when it seemed like I'd be able to get to the inside while there was room on the outside. I just kind of used the apron. One left to green. Green. I wonder how good of a position we're going to be in to get restarted here. Can't see him at all. So the answer is not good. Gavin might get clear, so that's all right. Just gonna see if we can take advantage, but I do. Not gonna be uh, pushing it too much right now. Let him get back in. what the tire wear is going to end up looking like here. It seems like these races, uh, well, I missed a couple of them. Kind of go back and forth between really seeming to uh, be serious tire ruiners <laughs> and uh, being able to get away with it. So what will we get today? I don't know. to uh, be nice to the tires and just fall in line with them. B9. Really don't know if it's going to be the right front we have to deal with or if it's going to be the right rear. Getting us loose, I don't know. 
So I really don't know how to drive it at this point. That's where uh, people that put the practice in are really going to win out because they'll know exactly how to drive the car right from the start. I did not do that practice, unfortunately. So, going in kind of blind. Got a big gap behind us. So maybe I take advantage of that. Gavin yeah, just lets him by. I'm sure Gavin's trying to save some tires as well. Doing my best just to not even turn the steering wheel as much as I can avoid it. Your lap time was 20 point out. Got my uh, brake bias all the way back. Helping me get in on entry. Trying to get this thing rotating on the throttle when I exit the corner. Not a ton, just enough. Keeping it gentle through the corners. And even though we're losing some distance in front of us now, hoping you know, maybe we uh, get a caution even, get brought right back to them. Nicer tires. Even if not, you know, maybe we'll just start to catch up anyway. Once uh, my tires start feeling a lot better. Who knows? Kind of just taking more of a uh, gradual approach to this one. The gap to four seven behind is now 2.1 seconds. Got lots of space between us right now. Both in front of in front of and behind. Okay with that. Still got about 100 to go. Your last lap time was at farther away up ahead but getting further away behind as well what's that going to mean for us i don't know that lap was at 20.8 in the uh, in terms of point standings i'm not even really just I'm not even really looking at those anymore, being that I missed a couple of races. Uh, I'm not really in the conversation there. I'm not like uh, Cade missing the truck in IS and still almost having the points lead. Because uh, when I do show up, I don't win every race, actually. <laughs> so I don't have that privilege. So, just racing for fun, and uh, that's what I should be doing anyway. But a little, a little less pressure. Maybe I can take a, a little bit more of a risk, like with a strategy like this. Watching guys get uh, further away in the distance. And feeling pretty okay with it. Knowing that, uh, you know, if it doesn't work out, that's alright. It still feels pretty much brand new. I expect it will be a while before we start feeling anything different. Hopefully a very long time. If I'm saving these tires well enough. I'm hoping the other guys will be feeling it before I do. We'll be looking out, seeing uh, what they're experiencing, because that's what uh, might give me a hint 
what, what my I might start feeling eventually. Everyone's all of a sudden saying, oh my gosh, I'm so loose. Well, hey, maybe that means uh, that's what I need to do. Have the advantage. Be careful with the right rear. They are catching behind a little bit. Not concerned about it, but watching that gap. Doing a little bit of like a diamond line right now. I don't know if that's really what I'm going to be doing, I'm not sure. Uh, 20.5. Just kind of trying to run my own race right now. Some laps logged. Thankfully, we haven't had any uh, more cautions. That's good. I wonder how well we're going to be able to pass, even if we do have fresher tires. It's going to be one of those situations where it's hard to pass no matter what. I don't know. I think we should be able to get a nose on someone here. I don't think it'll be as bad as some other places. second behind us now. Do I want to try to prevent that? That is one less person I would have to pass later. But do I sacrifice the good things I've done for my tires in order to keep it? That's the question. Place. Pretty nice to keep. I do have a bit of a line. I don't want to get uh, stuck on the outside either. I lose several spots. That would be pretty bad. So maybe I do try to keep this spot. I would just. I hate to have to kill my tires to do it, but actually, there's all of a sudden a little bit more of a gap. They might have ended up side by side or something. Something might have happened back there. Are still feeling the same, caution, and we got a caution. Alright. So here, our tire saving might pay off. Pit road is now open. Caution's being shortened. Love that. Still wish that we could have that in officials somehow. I know it's not really realistic in officials with automated cautions, but you kind of need so much time is wasted sitting around under your yellow conditions. So Rick will stay in line where he is. I'm gonna try to get by him. Okay. William taking the blame for whatever happened, it looks like. One left to green. I guess it was Rick that got uh, the short end of that stick. Whatever did happen. Thank <laughs> you. 
About to go green, stay focused. Pace car is off. So far back for some reason. Green flag, green flag. Car outside. Stay low. Clear high. How are our tires looking compared to some of these other guys? Have any sort of advantage? Not looking like it. They're still looking pretty fast to me. moment. Bell in there. Maybe that's a hint that we're going to be fighting loose conditions. Much passing going on right now, as far as I can see. Okay, Colton. Lap times are pretty consistent. That lap time was 20.3. Hmm. Everyone just kind of the same pace still. Still waiting on tires to uh, start coming into play more, I guess. Haven't been getting loose on that transition to the apron, looked like. That last light was at 20.4. Trying not to get this thing sideways if I can avoid it. We got sideways there, though. I think we will be fighting loose conditions. Seems to be the impression I'm getting so far. So be careful on throttle there. Pit window is open. That lap was at 20.4. Hmm. Still debating whether I want to let them get away again. I feel like everyone's just driving hard. Like, I feel like I'm barely saving tire. Driving away, like, I don't know. If I did go for it, would I even be able to keep up? It's not really what I like to see. Oh, Nick, Nicholas Wing left. I guess he was caught in something. That stinks. He's usually pretty fast, I think. I remember. Maybe put a, a wrong setup in or something. Forgot to put fuel in. It always happened to. I've been there before. Just kind of single file. 
I'm not seeing too much movement. I kind of maybe want to get up behind Gavin here if he does try to make a pass on Allen so I can try to take advantage. That lap was at 20.3. You're driving a little bit harder. Alright, got loose for the first time on entry there. It's good to know. I've not experienced that yet. Probably don't want to experience it again either. Here's all the apron to get down low there. Car outside. Clear outside. Car outside. Keep low. Still there. Clear up top. He cleared me. Trying to take advantage, couldn't quite. It's okay, don't ruin the tires, trying to force it. Still not even halfway through. on the move it looks like he's moved forward quite a bit once he got past Allen here officially halfway now Is there any way I can get around? That's good consistency, keep it up. Seen any mistakes out of him? Nothing blatant anyway. You've just done a twenty point three. Right there. Your last lap time was at twenty point three. Bad enough. No. Up, up time was the yellow flag is out. Flag. They want you in single file. Pit road is closed right now. So I was there, but just didn't quite have enough to try to get to his, uh, or you know, to actually get to his inside. It's all right. I, I wasn't going too crazy trying to pass him there. I was still kind of being, you know, keeping in mind. The throttle input. Okay, okay, road, road. Yep, yeah, sounds like people are getting loose. That's good to know. I'm glad I'm uh, being gentle on throttle. Well, you were looking pretty loose there. <laughs> Alright, so I think I can probably drive in harder. You feel okay with that? 
maybe gain some time on entry. When you're upside down, does that make you lose? <laughs> upside down. Probably. <laughs> Imagine the roof probably doesn't have much grip. <laughs> probably slide around a little bit. Right, will we be able to do anything on the restart? We'll soon find out. Car's still feeling good for me. I think I do feel a little bit of that looseness people are talking about, but it's definitely not terrible for me, at least yet. Which is good. If it were terrible only halfway through the race, that would be a bad sign. Get ready. Going green. The pace car is in. Ooh, I had to check up a little bit there. Alright, Colton. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Trying to get around the guy ahead in the Daryl Waltrip looking car. I see some tight racing up ahead. Isn't there, so I wasn't going to dive it in. I'm trying to scare him. He is holding his ground though and it's making a really tough pass. He has every right to, of course. I don't have the nose on him. There's no expectation to move down. Or I should have no expect expectation for him to move down, so I'm trying to say. Sorry, I'm kind of trying to drive here. Can't do it, I can't get a run. I don't want to be on his outside. Still there. Clear. Inside. Still there. Hold your line. Do I? Clear inside. Eighty-five. Inside. Clear. Huh. I guess I'll pass him on the outside. Not how I uh, foresaw that happening, but I guess the job is done. Got real, really, really, really loose at one of the exits there. Uh, we took that to our advantage.
Now you can see we can uh, finally get going again. We're being held back. And uh, drive uh, down through the apron, see how that feels. The gap behind is now 1.0 seconds. Mixed results so far. I feel like uh, it's on the driver here. I'm being pretty inconsistent, getting uh, some inconsistent times just based on my arriving inputs here. And we catch the 17 of Chad. We're going to be able to get to them here. And get round, though. White. Trying to get run, can't quite do it though. Your lap time was 20.4. There he goes, alright, a mistake. Man, we got too many talented people in this league. That never happens. That was like seeing a pink sheep. Never happens. We waited for the mistake, we took advantage, we were in position to do so. We feel pretty good about that pass. The gap in front is now, now we will try to see if we can catch Dylan here. That was a Kind of fast. I don't know if I could replicate that exact line over and over though. That line was at 20.2. Seventh position. He's seven though, feeling good. Catching up to the 78. Quite there, but I think he's gonna let us have it. Outside is clear. Four P6. It looked like he was gonna give me room. That's the only reason I still went in there. It looked like he was making space. That wasn't too aggressive of a move there. Don't want to surprise anyone. 
but it kind of looked like he was going to concede it. But I didn't get the wrong impression. Basically letting Chris by up there. I wonder how he's feeling on his tires. I wonder if that means that he's feeling uh, not so great up here. We don't have much time left. 26 laps, I believe it is, at a glance. Cool to meet Tracy, that's for sure. He's an ace on short tracks. So that would be quite the accomplishment. That'd feel like a win. We're quickest right now. That lap was a the quickest right now. Hey, that's a cool thing to hear. Running out of time, though. The gap to Edda ahead is now 0.9. Next bad corner. Thank you, sir. Touched up. You got a punch. That traffic coming up? Bring some guys back to us, potentially. Oh god. Car outside. Keep low. Keep from outside. there. It's not very fast. Things are really looking dicey up there all of a sudden. Tracy got a little loose there. I think he just gave it to us. You're in fear. It's getting closer. The gap's now 0.2 E5. You've just done that 20.5. Ooh. Top five right now. Slow car ahead. No, no, no late cautions, man. No yellow out, does Nick call it though? I don't think so. This car's getting really loose by the way. Maybe not really loose, but it is getting pretty loose. Chris up there battling with Nick. Fourteen to go. E
Gives it to us. Clear outside if you want. Was that 20.3? All right, Colton. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Hoo hoo hoo. Love moving forward. Don't get to do that often enough late in races. Usually it's me suffering and crying because of my tires. You're in the time position. position. You got the man on our today. Got ten left to go. The car outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear high. All right. That's in the P3. You're now in third. Just done it. Twenty point three. Left traffic hopefully won't be in the way. Outside. They're doing Clear a great high. job. We don't have enough time, I don't think, to catch Mitch. Probably not even Gavin. Go by me. Ooh, I'm sawing the wheel. Oh uh, yeah, I'm on the brink of going this time. Just gotta get what I can get. I'm sorry to have on this stuff this weekend. Car outside. Your last lap time is 7.25. Getting real loose mid-corner all of a sudden. Maybe just the angle I've been having to take. Slow car down low. No caution, however. Be great to flip the script and catch up to Gavin late in a race for once. He's always passing me late with better tires. The gap behind <laughs> is now not retained. Don't think I'm gonna have time to get there though. He's finding the wall just a bit. You got three left to go. The guy in front is Lemons. Slow car down low. Go high. Outside. Didn't expect to catch him so soon. Well, I tried. Huh. Should probably just focus on spinning this thing at this point, but. That's what it is. Behind us now. There's always a chance he uh, makes a mistake, right? I want to be there as close as possible. So. We'll run it hard to the end. Just wanted to go anyway. Last lap. Looking good for a podium. Okay, Colton. We're matching race pace. You're too fast. <laughs> Good win. Well done. Decent. Ooh. Good race. Good win. Chicken flag. Chicken flag. I've never done a show like so bad at the end. Zero forty-two. Oh no. I'm really curious what my tires say. Fifty-two thirty-one. Let's see what other people had. I'm really curious. Nick was 11.37. Gavin, 
<laughs> He's apologizing for people that use the set. I liked it. I didn't want it to get tight. <laughs> I think it was important that I did save when I did, and I think a lot of the rear uh, wear came late as I was just absolutely flooring it. Mitch, freaking 34, 34, of course. <laughs> I wonder if I could have gone harder early, actually, and uh, using Tracy's set, like uh, harder on entry like I was later in the run. I wonder if I could have done that and then evened out the right front and uh, gotten away with it. Been less slidey, maybe. Been faster early, I think, maybe. Yeah. The set got really loose, but it was super fun. Yeah, it, it got really loose, but I was really enjoying driving it. You had to be very careful with it, but I was having a blast. Temperature. Was, he had trouble with... Oh, no, he's saying he was hoping the track temp went down, but it kept going up, so that's why it was loose. Kevin uses a Southern National setup to get a top five. That's pretty solid. Let's say something, Gavin. I was head I was going after him. I think I pushed too hard though. And then the loose race car caught up to me, I think. I really wanted it. I really wanted this spot. Pretty hard to stare and say head guys. Yeah, absolutely. That was a lot of fun. That was actually uh, I've got a big smile on my face. That was great stuff. Just the one caution, I think it was, wasn't it? Yeah. Look at that. That's crazy. Or two cautions. That's right. We had that other one. But uh, for such a long event, that's very, very well done by everybody. Had a couple almost cautions late. A couple spinning, but the heel didn't come out. I think they got below the apron in time. A couple of contact there. Oh no, James had a rough one, 14x. Just look and see what everybody got. I got a 0x, so I'm feeling good about that. Oh yeah, I do want to look at this. Maybe I was, maybe it was all in my head, but I like I'm seeing like this huge gap already, you know. And then uh, he's kind of like blocking the bottom, which is fine. I wasn't really necessarily going to send it in on him first lap, first turn. But then you can just see people going around on the outside. I'm just, I'm just trapped down there, and there goes Dylan right there. These are. You saw how long it takes to pass just one person. You know, doing it the right way. So, yeah, it's... I'm watching that go by, and I'm just like, that's gonna come back to bite me later. Ooh. Got that happened. Looks like, uh, Rick just gets... Well... Yeah, I think, uh, Bryce kind of ran him over a bit. Dylan barely avoids it. End up going around. Through the middle. Ooh, I think this was a caution, actually, yeah. Couple get together. Oh, I think James apologized for going back on track here. I don't think he was trying to bring out a caution. Nah, he was just trying to get going. I don't think he expected that to bring a yellow out. He's just trying to turn around and go.
But yellow does come out. It's not like he stopped on the track on purpose, though, so... Here we are. Skip ahead to lap 24. We've just got some wall hits right here. I, I guess we're going to get a lot of those, aren't we? So, did not see that coming. He was way far back. Huh. That looks like Bryce, like, slammed the brakes or something. Like, he went real slow into the corner. Like, he got pretty hard on the brakes. I don't think Nick was Nicholas was ready for that. And he tries to avoid him. Huh. I don't know, maybe Bryce was even trying to let him by, and he just, uh, they just kind of barely touched each other. Nick King slides up. Ooh, here's... Here's a definite caution. Right? Yeah. Okay, we had more cautions than I remember, apparently. We have three cautions. That car is broken. That's unfortunate. I did remember seeing him leave. Tapping the wall for good luck, I assume? Huh. Couple more wall hits. Try to find when guys are next to each other. Is there something here? No, just a wall hit. James getting loose, and he's gonna spin it. He's back on track. That sucks. Right into the path of the 10. James, like, cranking the wheel to the right, I guess trying to save it, but I think you just gotta let it spin to the inside at that point, because now he's coming back up the track. And uh, it turns out way worse, not only for him, but for someone else, too. I think you just gotta let that spin to the inside right there. Maybe that's what he was saying, sorry, for coming back on the track for. So you see, he's trying to save it. I think at this point, once you're in the grass, you kind of just have to turn it left, let it drift through, and accept your fate. Because, you know, with the wheel cranked all the way to the right, this is what you end up getting. And uh, he's lucky he ended up on the, the rubber part of the car again. So Alan coming up. Almost hitting the wall, not quite. Not sure what we're seeing here. Maybe just tires getting old, so... Try to go through a little faster. Contact? No, not quite. Anything else we've got? Dan drives it in real hard. I think he was going to try to hold it on that in that second lane. It almost uh, spun it on him. It's very easy to lose grip whenever you enter hard on that middle lane like that. I definitely felt that a time or two. Moving right along. What's Nick got going on? Probably just tires. Yeah. Tires getting old. Wall. Man, Tracy was all the way up in second at one point, and I guess his uh his tires really fell off, I guess. What did it, did he post his tires? 39-1, yeah, so. He definitely went hard on those on those rear tires and uh, that makes me glad that I was easy on them like I did a good job actually compared to everybody maybe underdrove it but it's really nice to be on the other side of the coin for once and not be the one that uh, blew his tires that leaves me uh, feeling pretty good not just because of a third place, but also just because I uh, was able to do something I'm not normally able to do. So, Gavin yeah, eventually getting around Nick late in the race. Not 
much going on there. Let's keep it moving. But not too fast so as to break the incidents. But the 86 was about to clobber Nick. Chris looks like he's got uh, kind of my approach late in the run. He's got 35 12. Your eventual winner, Mitch. Stop me if you've heard that one. Remember the Greg, the guy we were in the gray car we were just looking at. He had really good tires too. I remember looking, they were very even. And Dan was really trying to get below that car right there and he was just all the way down the track. Dylan doing a four tire slide into the wall. There's no grip out of that thing. We're a late race now. You're looking at about lap 100. Me uh, getting some old tires. I was still sixth place. I gained uh, three spots in the last 20 laps. Chad was already getting to lose lap 25. You know, I'm, I'm glad he said something, though, because that keyed me in. Kept me uh, on top of taking care of that right rear. So I definitely wanted to be uh, get on the low side of the lap car here. And it, he kind of started taking a line like he was going to take the bottom, and I didn't want to wait behind him. So I, he kind of moves out of the way. I just, I couldn't wait. I was on the hard charge at this point. Oh, I know that was pretty aggressive, but. I kind of want to see this. This is kind of what led up to passing Tracy, which in this series is... Again, a huge accomplishment. He just kind of got trapped in a bunch of lap cars. He takes it three wide right there. Everyone kind of gets checked up because of that. And I'm able to catch up quite a bit. Use the fact that they're side by side there to get a good bit of distance on him entering. And then uh, in a lap or two, or no, it was right there. He got loose. And that was uh, all it took. It was from uh, me not wasting too much time getting through these lap cars and kind of using the situation to my advantage that allowed me to be in position to get around him quickly and take advantage of that mistake. Because if I had like hung back longer... And not put myself in position. Who knows, he like does this slide up, or maybe even doesn't at all. Maybe he's not even feeling the pressure and doesn't make that mistake. And even if he does, maybe I'm not in position to get on his inside, and you never know how long it's going to take for me to get around him. So I know Tracy doesn't give up spots too easily most of the time, but I think he knew his right rear was uh, having some trouble at that point. So then again, he probably would have been more willing to concede it. James going around. Luckily not a caution. Late race restarts are usually not very fun. Exciting, but usually uh, <laughs> chaotic. So we will finish it up here. We've only got a handful of laps left. Most of these are just going to be wall hits, I'm guessing. I think maybe we had one more Low car down low. Late in the race. Oh, that was a dive and a half. <laughs> I think Trace is way off pace, though. I think this he had 1% on his right rear. He's probably at about 2% right now. He's probably struggling really bad. 
You can tell he's having to take a really wide entry so that thing doesn't spin around on him. I think Bryce said that uh, he had been saving pretty hardcore too, so that probably helped him out as well. Yeah, he was flying. Probably even more than I was. He probably would have been faster than me at this point. And lap 116. Ooh, that's a... That looks like a blown tire. Alan, did we see his tires? Because that looked like that was completely blown. He, I don't think he shared his tires, but... That's a blown right front right there. That's what that is. That's really unfortunate. He just barely didn't make it the whole race. More cars on ice. Making Kevin battling it out. Kevin uses Nick to turn. Eight tires are better than four, I guess. Oh, this is the final corner. Oh, Kevin used him up. Wow. <laughs> That's bold. But uh, I think... I think Nick gets it. I don't think he'll be, he would would have been mad about that. We'll see what his reaction is in his video, but I don't know. He didn't dump him or anything by any means, and it's looking like Kevin's probably got much better tires. They're side by side. Nick pinches him a, a little bit too, maybe. Probably wasn't even intentional. But I think he had them anyway, even if they don't make contact. Just because he had the inside on him, and it looks like better tires. Would have been pretty ugly if he uh, got hooked and like turned into the wall or something. That would have been not good. But that should be it. Yep. That's it for our race here at Stafford. Late model stock. We'll bring it into P3, so we get a space on the podium. Along with Mitch, your winner, and Gavin who we unfortunately weren't able to pass, but we uh, reeled him in quite a bit. We were only about a second behind, and uh, maybe if the tires held on just a little bit longer, didn't get quite as loose, maybe we had a chance, but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get him next time, or at least try to. <laughs> but uh, as for this time, that'll, that'll do it. I hope you enjoyed. That was a very fun race, actually. I really, I, I had a lot of fun, so thank you for watching. I'll see you next time, and I hope you have a good one. See ya.